Hi comrades, yours KVF. Let us discuss about the present position, about the grant of notional increment to the June 30th retirees. All of us know that the implementation of IM Brumal case decision to similarly situated employees has not been ordered due to the interim order in the case of Sidhara in the Supreme Court. Thereafter, the Supreme Court in the SLP 4722 of 2021 passed an interim order dated 5-4-2021 for the stay of operation of Karnataka High Court decision in the case of M. Siddharaj versus Railways. Based on this only, in the Standing Committee meeting held in September 2022, it was replied that it will be decided based on the decision of the SLP in the above case. The SLP case of Siddharaj was dismissed in the Supreme Court on 19-5-2023. Thereafter, all the cases related to the same were disposed with the direction that the judgment is applicable to all the similarly situated employees. The judgment is in REM, it is not the personam. It was the categorical decision of the Supreme Court, whereas it has not been implemented to all the similarly situated person even nearing one year after the issue of the judgment. Now what happened? In all the departments, they are passing different set of orders. In some department, they are giving effect with the prospective effect. In some department, they are applying the same to the persons who were approaching the court. Even in the department of post, it was applied to the only to the persons who were approached the courts. In the Ministry of Mines, it was implemented to all. There is no uniformity. The DOPT has not yet clarified. Even the Department of Expenditure has not stated anything about the implementation of the Supreme Court judgment. Whereas, overall the persons approached the courts, their cases have been settled by stating that it is not applicable in case of uh, others and it is applicable to the persons who approached the courts and it is a judgment in personam. Even though it was declared it is not a judgment in personam, it is a judgment in REM. This is happening. Now recently, we have gone through the minutes of the SCOVA meeting. It was held on 22-2-2024 and the minutes was supplied on 3-4-2024. The Joint Secretary of the Department of Personal and Training informed that as per the rules, the trial of increment the following are mandatory. The government servant must be in service on the date on which the increment falls due. He should have rendered satisfactory work and displayed good conduct during one year period preceding the date on which the increment falls due. These two conditions are in the FR. What are all the two conditions? One must be on service on the date of the increment because they are completing 12 years on the previous day. Next day, they are not in the service. How this can be implemented? This is a silly question raised by the DOPT. They can amend it, amend the FR and SR. Earlier, if any official is seeking voluntary retirement, they used to retire only in the forerun of the particular day. Nowadays, they amended the FR. And based on this, they are being relieved on the previous day, afternoon itself. As such, it can be modified. It is not a major thing. Because 12 years, he should have a satisfactory work and displayed a good conduct. That can be verified because he is completing 12 months, one year, and the date of his retirement. That can be verified on the very same day. And there is no necessity that he should... Uh, uh, come to the office and you should be working on the next day. This is a very silly question the, the actually the DOPT has mentioned. So the DOPT is saying these rules need to be amended based on the Supreme Court judgment. Yes, you made the amendment if need be. Other, otherwise you can pass an administrative order by implementing the same to everyone. Based on the advice received, efforts are being made to seek clarification from the Honorable Supreme Court and the relevant issues, including the rules position, which needs elucidation. Further action will be taken on the way come the Supreme Court orders. So they disposed. They don't want to do it. They want to refer the case to Supreme Court once again. So they want orders from the Supreme Court that you can amend the FR and SR if need be like this. So it is a dilly-dallying effect. Why? I'm saying very frankly. 
actually the yearly increment I, uh, one year is having 12 months the recruitment is may being made 12 months so the retirement uh, either uh, june or uh, december that percentage will be work out not less than 12 to 15 percent if it is implemented whoever whoever retiring in the future that 12 to 15 percent has to be given the benefits number one number two already more than 12 to 15 percent pensioners they would have retired either in june or in december so this has to be implemented for them also so the government it don't want to implement the same so it desires to prolong the case by filing case after case in the supreme court seeking some unwarranted silly cousins before the court so they want to delay it. I think it will be delayed further. The issue cannot be sorted out immediately. It is a decision of the government to protract the same and they don't want to give to the workers. I am asking, I am requesting the leaders of the JCM National Council. Comrades, what are you doing? This is a very serious issue. This is pertaining to the life position of more than 15% of the existing employees covered under the old pension scheme, as well as the existing pensioners to the extent of 12 to 15%. You are the leader for both. You are the leader for the staff side. You are the leader for the pensioners movement. You should take some initiative you should take some serious uh, cognizant action to mitigate the same otherwise what is the use of functioning of such highest forums in which the people and the workers are having the confidence that their issues will be sorted out by all these leaders further delay will definitely cause more dissatisfaction among the pensioners as well as the serving employees this is a very serious issue please I am requesting all of you, please take note of the situation and pursue the government to implement the orders, not only to those approach and to apply for the all the similarly situated employees and pensioners. Otherwise, each and every employee will knock the door of the court by spending the huge amount towards the court charges. It will also cause loss to the government exchequer because when they are engaging some uh, um, um, council when they are engaging councils the expenditure will also for the government also so it should be discussed properly with the government and this has to be mitigated at the earliest this is my fervent request with this i am concluding thank you very much comrade meet again